Hi everybody, I'm I'm Little E, I'm a DIYer here on DIY, and we are going to be making cherry Kool-Aid muffins or cupcakes. So we so let's start. So we are going to be cooking in an oven today. Um, and you can go preheat it to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. If you don't know how to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, you can go ask your guardian to do that for you. So we are going to preheat. Now we are going to wait. Um, when it is done preheating, um, when it's done preheating, it will beep or whatever. It'll do whatever whatever your oven does to um, say it's getting done preheating. It will do that. So we begin to make our mixture. So we are going to first um, get our cake mix. So you'll need white cake mix. And we are, so we will be putting a whole bag of this in. We, we will be putting only like a fourth of it. So we'll have to like put one, like here. One, two, three, and four. So this is going to be where our mark. We want this to be empty by this mark. So a right fourth here. of the package. Yeah, a fourth of the package. Okay. So this would be like fourth of it. Okay. It's okay if you put a little too much that in, though. If you if you feel like you put a little bit too much in, it's totally fine. Um, because we want we want a little bit more. We we want enough to go put in the cupcake layers. So we are going to empty them and just make sure you don't make sure, when it's empty into the mark that should be good. Okay. So. Now, our next ingredient is going to be one fourth cup of cherry cool. Now, if you have lemonade or maybe like grape juice or something, or just uh, Hawaiian punch, it's totally fine. Um, and you could either have like a gallon of cherry cool aid, like I just have a pouch, so I'm gonna use that too. But you don't need too much cherry cool aid, you only need one fourth cup. So we have one fourth cup measuring, measuring cup. And we are going to carefully. Uh, what do I ask for? We are going to carefully and your leftover Kool Aid you have, you can just drink later or drink with the cupcakes. So it doesn't have to be exactly to the brim, um, but you shouldn't like have like the main one fourth cup should be full of Kool Aid. And now we are going to gradually pour it around and in the bowl. So now, if you have all your Kool Aid inside of your bowl and the powder and all that, we are going to our next step is going to be putting the vegetable oil in. Now. We're going to be putting one and a half tablespoons of vegetable oil. So this will be one full of vegetable oil, and it's going to be a half weight bowl. So I'll I'll show you right now. So this is kind of a big one. I don't know if you if you have a smaller one, that's probably better. But if you have a bigger one, that's totally fine. So one and a half tablespoons of vegetable oil. Now what we have next, thank you. Now we, what we have next is one egg. So it doesn't matter the size of the egg, we just need one little, one egg. Crack it on there, kind <laughs> of a little hard, but okay. That's a good crack job there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so. Now we got all of our ingredients into the large mixing bowl. And you can either use a tiny whisk or a spatula. It doesn't really, ma it doesn't really matter what you use. I like to use that, uh, a tiny whisk because it kind of gets the ingredients more dissolved. But if you have a spat spatula, that's perfectly fine too. Um, but yeah, so we are just going to mix. Just mix until it is fully
Okay, so when it is all gooey and you don't see any more like of the cake mix or you don't see any like little bits of cake mix or lumps or lumps, yeah, <laughs> lumps. Um, you, you you got your mixture good. So this chat is lump free. We are going to spray nonstick cooking spray on the corner of a folded paper towel. So you got some paper towel right here. You don't need too much. You just need one one of these, and now you fold it. Let's go. Over this one here. You just fold it in half, and and then again. It's kind of like further way of folding paper to race. So now we are going to have this right here in a non-stick cooking spray. Now you can have any cooking spray, non-stick cooking spray you want. It could be butterfly, it could be this flavor, it doesn't really matter at all. Um, I kind of gently pour it, not pour it, spray it. Kind of maybe spray around your finger. You can have it off, but... And now we have the grease paper towel. So now what you need is your cup, your, your cupcake liners. So we are going to get six cupcake liners. You could do any color you want. I'm just going to do plain white right now. Now we have our cupcake liners, and now we have a cupcake tray. And what we are going to do is we are just going to gently kind of, you don't have to like um, push push the the grease paper towel down into it too much. You can be just gentle with it and kind of grease it a little bit. So, right there, that should be good. You're going to put it in. You want to put it like face down. Make sure the cupcake. Okay, so we got all of our cupcake liners all greased up into the cupcake tray. Let's place them inside the cupcake tray right here. And now what we are going to do is we are going to get our mixture right here. Your whisk, you can just place somewhere. So we are now going to go pour the mixture by spoon. Now you can do, you can like pour it inside the cup, cup liners like this, but I actually recommend doing it by spoon so you don't create a big mess and it's not so messy. Um, but yeah, and then, yeah. So we are going to go make, get some spoonfuls of it and pour inside. And what I do is I kind of make sure that when it's time for it to pour in, that wasn't really the time, but I'm going to pour in right here. And it'll take some time to pour it in, um, but you get probably two spoonfuls of it. You can um, you can go push the cup liner into the cupcake tray. And what I do is I, I spin my spoon around, and then I so if I spin my spoon around to go then. Now, we want to get it halfway. So right here should be good, but we are not too quite done. We're going to go a little bit spoonful. We want to push it down when it's like two spoon, spoonfuls in. And halfway is really important because you don't want it to overflow. But that is halfway, I'm pretty sure. Um, it's okay if you have a little bit more. You don't want it to overflow. So it's getting overflow because you don't want your oven to be smelling like cupcakes for the rest of your life. So we are going to. So just keep doing it. I'm just going to pour the mixture in and get all the cup liners full of cup cupcake, the cupcake batter. So.
So I'm done now. Okay, so what's the last step? The last step is you're going to put it in the oven. Careful. So, so now we got our cupcake, our cupcake cherries called the cupcake batter and the cupcake blenders. A lot of cupcake stuff, I know. Um, so now what we are going to do is if your preheating is, is not done, that's totally this way until it's done. But what we're going to do is we are going to get our oven lit. So get your oven lit. Um, now open up the oven when you have your cupcake tray in place. You don't want to allow the heat out. You're going to carefully put in it in the oven. And you try to put it in the center. So you should put it on the top rack? Uh, I think I'm going to put it on the uh, top rack, but you should probably put it in the middle rack. Um, but I I think just top rack's fine because when I when I made it, I put it on top rack and it cooks evenly and it cooks all good. But now what we are going to do is we're going to set a timer for 18 minutes. So 18 minutes we are going to set a timer for. So yeah, so so just put your coffee tray inside of the oven, set, a, set the timer for 18 minutes if it's preheated. If it's preheated 350 to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and we that's our last step. So we are kind of pretty much done. But I'm going to share with you guys what it should look like when it's out of the oven. I can cook rather oven, but this is what it should look like. Maybe a little little bit worse. I think it's because I didn't have much cupcake batter left. But this is what I made yesterday, and this is what it should look like, generally. Now, can you frost those cupcakes or just eat them like yeah. plain? Yeah, you can eat a plain, you can eat it with frosting, whatever you want. I put, fro as you guys can see in the photo of the live challenge, I put frosting on it and it was delicious. But you can do whatever you want with it. So it's really, your, it's really, it really, you can do whatever you want with it. You do. Thank you, everybody, for coming, um, for being here and making some cherry coolie muffins or cupcakes muffins slash cupcakes with me so it's super fun i'm super grateful for the opportunity opportunity and as always guys stay cool stay tropical my pineapple beans and as always nothing else bye <laughs>